Alright, so I'll go. This is like the 23rd midweek hunt. I usually don't do this, but this is where that old house was that burned down. Um, city owns the property. I'm taxpayer for this town, so hey, I already know I can do the curb strips here without no issues. Alright, solid tough. <laughs> that was a lot of work for us, too. Big son of a bitch, too. About 10 inches deep. Alright. And there you have it. One spoon in the middle of the second target, and the police say, oh, they just reseeded all this, and you, uh, you're going to have to wait a couple months to see if you can come back and do this again. All right, that's nice. All right, solid tough. Not to be deterred, down the street to the next park. Really trashy, 47D, and two bottle caps in the same hole. So that's how that works down here. All right. All right, I'm just doing some uh, beach larking, I guess, as you call it. Water's still dropping. So a lot of stuff's been kind of washed out here from the old hotel site here. But I just seen this laying down here. It's got a root growing into it, so it must have been buried here for a while. It's a little cork topper. 8716. That's it. Doesn't have any markings on there, but I'm definitely going to keep that. It's a pretty cool find. Alright, it's all tough. See what else we can eyeball down here. Alright, I don't know if you can see it there. But you got us a little glass button, it looks like. Yep, that's it. Just a glass button. Alright, let's keep on poking around. Check this out. This is a killer looking find. Look right here. Fucking padlock. I mean, excuse my language. That is cool as all get out. Look at the key cover on there. I mean, I know this thing's like totally just destroyed. It says N and B. That's what it looks like. Look at that, it locks down here. I bet this is like to one of the old ice houses or something here. Man, that sucks, that's not gonna survive. I mean, I'm gonna have to put it in like an oil bath or something, who knows. All right, let's see what else we can locate. That, that made my day there. Hopefully we can find a coin still. And we're just working the wash here through the rocks, so. All right, all tough. Yesterday I'm out eyeballing. Found the padlock on that bottle and stuff, and today I'm out with the detector in the same area, and I was getting a squeaker, and there we go. That's another little medicine cork top. It's um, do, 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 HS Fletcher. It's a castor oil bottle. I've got a bunch of these. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I hope this thing is not broken. I don't know how I missed it yesterday. Look at this. All right, full one. Capudine for headaches. Nice. I mean, it's got a little chip there at the top, but we're definitely taking that home. I thought it was an iodine bottle, but hey, I'm happy with that. I can't believe that. That's three bottles off this spot here in, uh, since yesterday and today. Sweet. That is a beauty. For headache. Can't really make out the marks on the bottom there. But yeah, that is a gorgeous. All right, all, all tough. I don't know what this is. Some sort of pin. See, I had a pin back on there. All right, all, all tough. So we're just working the washouts. The water has been up and down. It moved a lot of sand, so I mean that gives me a lot of extra depth here to work. All these extra roots hanging out that were invisible before. So, all right, it's all tough. Just having this a day on the Illinois River. Right, there you have it, 1925 uh, or 29 uh, wheat back. Hey, this has uh, got a rotated die on there, it looks like. Maybe. 
Yeah, it does look like it might be slightly off off rotation there. We'll check it out when we get back to the house. It's all tough. All right, I just dug a 35 feet. The one was right there, the other one right there. Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. All right, there we go. Like I said, all the sands moved away. You can see how high the roots and everything are here. Well, there you have it. 1909. It's uh, definitely a pin. All right. All, all tough. All right, back on the home front here. We had a productive couple days. We got a little bit of clad here. I mean, this is uh, yesterday, today, and one short hunt last week. Where I got booted out, where I got my big old, uh, I think it's Oxford silver plate, big honking spoon, and got the 1909, uh, I'm thinking that's from the uh, St. Louis trade fair or something like that, had some red enamel in there at one time, a nice little pin. Little glass button there, um, a couple wheats, some newer ones, uh, 23, 36, 25, those are the ones I got there today, and just some regular 40s and 50s ones there, Detroit Auto Marine uh, number zero, pretty neat little find there. Here's my padlock. Too bad it's uh, it's falling apart. So I doubt I'm going to be able to save that. Have the loop down here. But you'll have that. Uh, let's see what. I got the little top bottle there. I did find half of a broken one yesterday. But, I mean, I was really happy to get this one today. Kept you dying for headaches. That's a beautiful little bottle. Got a little chip right there in the top, but I mean, I'm definitely happy with that. I found bits and pieces of these things. I've never gotten a whole one, so and my little uh, Castoria medicine bottle there. So and it's like uh, Chess H Fletcher's. I got a bunch of these, so. All right, yeah, and then, uh, my little pin here, well, turns out that uh, it's silver. And right up there, right above my finger here, it says sterling in there. I mean, it's heavily tarnished. But, I mean, you can see it's got the, the underlying shine there where I rubbed on a little bit. But, yeah, you can see part of the lettering there. So, yeah good find right there got a bunch of little stones set in there it's got the little opening to the side here to let the light through so I'm hoping I can get that to clean up a little better so all right it's been all tough and I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video and we'll catch you all next time thanks for watching